Bio 330 Chapter 2 Part 1 Lesson Outcomes for Chapter 2 At the end of this chapter, students should be able to first explain key concepts of population ecology, second, describe population growth models and factors that regulate populations. We will discuss about a few key concepts of population ecology. The first one, what is population ecology? Population ecology is the study of the mechanisms responsible for changes in the distribution and abundance of individuals within a population over space and time and how that particular populations interact with their environment. Second key concept that we will discuss is characteristic of population which is density and dispersion. Third, about exponential growth model that describe and idealize population in an unlimited environment. For logistic growth model of population growth which incorporates the concepts of carrying capacity. Next, we will discuss on density dependent and density independent factors that may affect population growth and the last key concept that we will discuss is demography. Okay, what is demography? Demography is the study of factors that affect birth and death rates in a population. As an introduction to population ecology, what is population? Population is a group of individuals in a particular geographic area that belong to the same species. So that, how population is different from the species. A population, we must remember, it includes only the members of a species that live in a given geographic area. Meanwhile, species includes all organisms in the entire world which share a unique characteristic. They also able to interbreed or mate with one another in order to produce viable and fertile offspring. So now we know what the differences in between population and species. How about population with the community? A population consists of the member of one species only that live in a particular geographic area. In contrast, community include all the different species or community that live in that particular geographic area. So that is the main difference in between population and community. So again, what is a population? Consists of all the members of a species that live in a particular area. Okay, for example, population of human. We can find population of human in every single village, every single city or or town. So meaning a species can have many different population around the world. So a population consists of members of one species, but it doesn't have to consist of all the members of that particular species, right? So that is the concept of population. The first parameters of population. Population dynamics. What is population dynamics? Population dynamics we can define as the study or analysis of the factors that affect the increase, stability or decrease of population 
over time. That definition according to Earth System and Environmental Science 2021. Population dynamics are directly affected by the number of addition to the population and how the addition of to the population can occur it via birth and immigration. What is immigration? Immigration is addition of individual to population going in. And the number of reduction in the population can occur through death or emigration. Death or mortality. And what is emigration? Emigration means removal or going out of individual from population. So why population dynamics very important? Because understanding population dynamics is the key to understanding the relative importance of competition for resources and predation in structuring ecological communities. Next parameter is population size. What is population size? Population size is the most fundamental population and demographic parameter that we can define as the number of individuals present in a subjectively designed geographic range or geographic area. So, how ecologists estimate population size? Ecologists usually estimate population size by counting every single individual within a small sample area first and then just simply extrapolating that data or sample to the larger population. What is extrapolating? Estimating. Right? Estimating or assuming the total amount or the total population population size. And population also display distinctive behavior based on their, their size. Normally, small population face a greater risk of inbreeding. What is inbreeding? Inbreeding is mating or breeding of individually that are closely related genetically. They still within the same species but closely related genetically for example in between siblings and small population also susceptible to random death and extinction according to Coughlin 1994 meanwhile large population may experience greater competition for resources such as food especially when they approach carrying capacity Large population also may result in lower fecundity. What is fecundity? Fecundity is ability to produce offspring and this ability may decrease or lower when the size of population increase or become bigger. And the last one, large population also may degrade available habitat. For example, when the number of human population increase, we need to explore new area for the housing, for the township, for the agriculture, for the industrial area. So it may degrade available habitat, not only for human, but also for other, other species. Next, population density. What is population density? Population density is the number of individual per unit area or volume. And mathematically, we can define population density as a total population divided by total area. For example, okay, for example, China had a population of 1.4 billion with land area of 9.7 million kilometer square so we can calculate the population density in china by divide 
the number of population with land area which is we divide 1.4 billion people divide with 9.7 million kilometers square so the answer is population density in china equal to 147 individual for every kilometer square so now how ecologists measure population density ecologists can use a variety of sampling techniques for example the first one just simply counting individuals counting individuals in just a few representative plot of an appropriate size and this technique will harvest more accurate data if more numerous or larger sample plot were utilized the second technique ecologists may count indirect indicators such as if the ecologists want to measure population density of birds they not count the individual but they count the number of nests or maybe they count the number of or the amount of dropping or sign of strike that is the second technique in order to measure population density the third one a technique we call as a capture mark recapture method which is the proportion of mark to unmark animal or individual that are captured during the second trapping give an estimate of the size of population or density okay. here is the example of capture mark recapture method population size when using capture mark recapture method equal to the number of first sample we multiply with number in second sample and then divide the number in second sample that previously already marked okay for example uh, we sampling for the this on day one and we can capture 10 animal and we mark all that animal with the red in in the second trip or the second on the second day we capture another 10 animal and we found out that only half or five of the that 10 animal were were marked so based on that population using that uh, based on that uh, data or result so we can calculate that the population size equal to 20 individual using the formula number in first sample and we mark we multiply with the number of second sample and then divide the number in second sample previously marked and we will discuss more detail the technique of capture map recapture in your lab session that will start on week 9 next parameters is population dispersion what is population dispersion population dispersion is the pattern of spacing among individual within the geographical boundaries of the population and we can divide population dispersion to three types the first one random dispersion what is random dispersion it a spacing varies in an unpredictable way and not common in nature and it occurs in the absence of strong extraction or repulsion among individual again random occurs in the absence of strong extraction or repulsion among individual second type uniform uniform spacing is even and that is a common result of behavioral or territorial interaction in animal or in plant is due to competition for resources the third type clump 
in clump dispersion, individuals are aggregated in patches. And this is a common response to uneven distribution of resources in their environment. In the next video or part 2, we will continue our discussion on population growth. With that, we conclude the discussion of our first part of the second chapter. Thank you.